Hello, EctoSage here. Hello, EctoSage here on the Sage channel. And recently on Reddit, I've realized there's been a bit of a resurgence of gravity drives, basically where you have a gravity generator and an artificial mass using both those to propel your ship across the universe. Yes, it doesn't make any sense, but, well, we have super-duper ion drives that work pretty well, so who really cares? And we also have a limited speed, so it doesn't make sense isn't necessarily the worst thing ever in this case. Anyhow, rotors have also been declared to be far safer than they used to be, so I've gone ahead and built this sort of contraption in front of you. In a way, it's my very own gyroscope, but I've taken that, put the gravity generators on the center part, in line the outside area with artificial masses, meaning basically what you get is this thing right here, where you have the center seat controlling where the gravity generators are, and the outside with a few gravity, well, artificial masses that get pushed around and therefore the whole ship can fly about, which means you can have a ship driven without actually turning the ship at all, like this right here. This is our main cube. And if we were to go ahead and spectator inside it, so buzzy buzz 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 right into it, you can see this one has a bajillion artificial masses in here. So much so that I found it will kind of create a massive issue if you were to use them all. So we'll be using a very limited supply of them, at least at first. We've teleported our character in here. I got blue for front, red for the right, and green for straight up. And what we can do now is turn on our UI, spectator ourselves back out so we can actually see what we're doing and maybe hit an F9 to hold the camera in place. And so now we should be able to turn everything on and drop. make sure we drop our power down so we're barely moving forward, and there we go. So now the ship is moving. You will see thrusters firing on the outside. These are just to slow us down if we end up getting near maximum speed. Because of course right now we have a bit of an issue where if you get up around the maximum speed, well, your rotors will all turn on their rotor locks. Now, I've set the rotor locks to be... That's forward. We want to go to the right. There we go. So, we've set the rotor locks so they're up to 100. You have to get up to that speed before the rotor locks will actually engage. But the problem is they still do lock. There's no way that, as far as I know at least, where you can just set them so they will never, ever engage. It's unfortunate, but it's the only way I can really set it up for the time being. So, we have to make sure our speed, if we go over 100, we will slow back down. Hence the reason why we do have those thrusters to slow us back down. Oh, let's hop back in the first person again so we can aim ourselves back towards where we started out. There we go. And so there you go, you can see the cube will now fly about as we direct it from the inside. Yes, it's very hard to see, but you get the idea how it works. Also, I think I might have aimed in the wrong corner there. I was hoping to aim at green, blue, other corner. That one right over there. I wanted to aim that way. In fact, we can go ahead and boost up our power a little bit there. Yes, let's do F9. Now we'll aim down. I think I might have aimed down too much. Have I aimed down too much? I am not sure. We're slowing down. Uh, F8? Let's just see. A little hard to tell sometimes. It's not impossible to tell, actually. I think we're still aiming up. And now we've hit the maximum speed and can't aim anywhere. In fact, if you were to go ahead and look at it right now, if I try to turn it, because we're at the maximum speed and everything's locked, the whole thing will spin. Anyway, that's that ship. Um, we could go ahead and turn them all on, but that's just going to tank our sim speed. And of course, you could do that if you wanted to, uh, well, let's just crank up our speed to absolute maximum and turn them all on right now, just so you can see what it does do to our sim speed. I've clicked that. Okay, there we go. It's responding. And shift F11, shift F11 again, shift F11 again, there we go. And our sim speed is 0.08. So 8% of real speed is what we're at right now. So it tanks it pretty heavily. Anyway, let's delete this so it doesn't nuke our whole world. There we go. And close that out, Ruby. Uh, and let's go ahead and get ourselves back to our little test area there, shall we? And just to show it off a little bit more, we have this contraption right here, which is basically everything I've just shown you, except for this one, I've set the rotors, so if we go ahead and just turn on the uh, rotors, da -da -da, didn't actually make a group for them, that might have helped us a little bit. So now they'll spin on their own. Ta-da. And now if we turn on those artificial masses in there, the ship is going to propel itself about in all sorts of different strange directions using those, uh, well, the gravity drive, basically. I love the fact that rotors are apparently pretty stable now. I haven't done any massive, massive tests, but so far, 
Well, I'd say that's pretty stable, considering it's able to propel itself about in some strange ways. And really, we could have done the same thing with the uh, ship we just sent off into space, so you would have a cube moving about completely on its own without really any proper thrust. Of course, any thrust you see there is it trying to stop itself. Well, one more thing before we end the video, I guess I'll fly over to this one right here, and we'll actually just fly it about because it's a bit easier to fly when, of course, you can actually see out of the ship. And I actually do enjoy flying it a little bit. And came in a little hot. Yes, we did. Hop into here. Boop. Go ahead and turn down our acceleration a little bit. There we go. Point one should do. And turn on our systems. And now the ship is actually moving. And in fact, we could go ahead and search up thrusters. So take all these ion thrusters. Save them as a group and turn them off for the time being. There we go. Uh, and that was a massive mistake. But it's not too bad since we were able to actually reverse the way our thrusters are going. So we can go ahead and fly over to that one right there. We can bump up our power really quick and get us up to speed super, super fast like that. Unfortunately, there we go. Without the thrusters, once we get up the speed, we pretty much sit there forever. We have to reverse our uh, gravity generators a little bit there to actually slow us back down. But you can see now, we can guide ourselves wherever we please just by aiming at it and giving ourselves a little bit of gravity push. It's pretty cool, ain't it? I like it. I think it's pretty nifty. And of course it doesn't, oh no, reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, forward, forward, forward. Ah! Right, without those uh, thrusters, we're not going to be able to really get ourselves into a spot we really want. See, now we've hit maximum speed again. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> so yeah, it's finicky as all hell to control. There you go. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that thing. I'll probably go ahead and put uh, the thing we're sitting in right here. Oh, gosh darn it, maximum speed. I wish there was a way to uh, actually disable those safety locks. But I guess maybe they're afraid that their rotors are going to go completely silly if they uh, allow us to do such a thing. Either way, though, that's that. I'll put this thing we're in right now up on the Steam Workshop. Uh, and if you would like to go ahead and uh, get your hands on it, you'll learn more then welcome to do so and fiddle with it and maybe stick in the middle of your larger ships or whatever you please. Anyway, that is that. Thanks a bunch for watching and I'll see you all next time. Oh dear, we're floating free. We are most definitely floating free. I'd say that's like some sort of fresh hell, isn't it? Oh my god, it's like something out of a movie! Yep. Yep, that just became a the best. <sighs> Ta-ta.